Hi everybody, my name is Mark Lamerti and in today's video we are going to cover one of the most exciting features of Airflow 3.0. Today we are covering assets, the next generation of Airflow datasets which were originally released in Airflow 2.4. An asset is a collection of logically related data Think of an asset as a table in a database or a CSV file and in Airflow 3 you can write DAGs by defining the desired asset in a function with the new asset decorator. Assets can have a name, a URI or any extra information. And also a function can return multiple assets. But without further ado, let me show you that in action. To create an asset, the first step is to create a Python file in the DAX folder, like you do for your DAX. Then you must import the asset decorator from the Airflow SDK. Next, you use the asset decorator with a few parameters. First, an asset must have a schedule. So here we said that this asset would be materialized every day at midnight. Then we define a URI, which is a best practice, you don't have to, but it's better, because that represents the underlying data of your asset, in that case, an API. Then you can put a description and also some tags, exactly like you do with your DAGs. Below the asset decorator, you have the name of the asset, so the function, which is user, and what it returns. And then we have the content of the asset, so here we are faking the reach of an API to return a user. Next, under the user asset, we have another asset, which is user location. And this one depends on the user asset. Why? Because the user location asset returns the location of the user. So it means that as soon as the user asset is materialized, that triggers the asset user location. And here we are getting what the user asset returns, the dictionary corresponding to the user, and then we extract the location. With that, if you go on the Airflow UI and assets, you will see your assets, user location and user. But more importantly, if you click on user, then you land on that page, which I love because you can clearly see the dependencies between your assets. As you can see here, user location depends on user. And you can materialize your asset just like that, create asset event and then materialize and here, if you create an event, you will materialize the user asset as well as the user location asset. Remember that the old datasets feature has been deprecated. DAGs with datasets will still work, but you should use assets as soon as you can. This feature also allows you for more advanced scheduling capabilities, which we'll cover in a future video. If you are not already running Airflow 3 and you want to try this out, I recommend you to get a free trial of Astro, as it is the easiest way to run Airflow 3 today. So that's it about assets. I see you for another video. Take care.